Good morning, modern steaders. We want to get our wood stove and chimney cleaned up today. We burnt about a cord to a cord and a half of wood already. So it needs a good cleaning. We get asked quite a bit if we only have the wood heat for heating the house. We do have, there it is, a backup gas furnace. We have a plenum in the basement that blows the hot air. And then it rises just like the wood stove. We use it a little bit beginning of spring and end of fall when the temperatures are just slightly chilly. Then we use it if we're ever gone away for a few days. One of the reasons it's really nice to have it is when I need to clean the wood stove, like today. I knew it was going to be above freezing for the day. Let the fire go out. Put the gas furnace on. Now we can clean the wood stove. Keep this small tarp just for this occasion. It takes a good half a day for our wood stove to cool off enough so that we can clean the chimney in the inside stovepipe. I have the chimney on the outside of the house, so when I'm cleaning it, I don't have the mess in the house. Like that. Not sure if you can see anything up there. There we go. It's pretty clean. Inside, you can't see, but let's see if we reach our hand in. Yeah, it's a good amount of dried up creosote. We use a plastic brush, and then we have these fiberglass poles that we screw together. And I've been noticing the last few times when I go to clean the chimney, they unscrew and screw together really hard. I think all that creosote dust has gotten in the threads and it's just dry. So we're using a little bit of penetrating oil. Maybe they'll thread nicer. For our setup, I find most of the creosote thread at the bottom when the cap goes on. One more section. Boom. We hit the cap. I just pull the pipe back down. Smells like barbecue. Done. As I need to make myself up another one of these inside pipes with a damper and then that way I could just take it off real quick put the new one on and clean that one for next time's use but I only have one so I gotta take it off clean it and then put it back on This is a magnetic thermostat. Let you know if you're getting your chimney too hot and if you're in danger of starting a chimney fire. My rule of thumb is I try to clean my chimney and stove pipe every cord a quarter and a half 
of firewood that I burn. It doesn't always happen. If it's extremely cold in the middle of the winter, I'm not gonna stop burning firewood to clean. But as soon as we get a good warm day, I let the stove cool down and then we clean it. That's what the inside of this pipe looks like. Getting some what the inside of the stove pipe looks like. Get our cap reinstalled. I've been told by quite a few people don't put the creosote in your compost pile. You can use it to melt ice and to kill weeds. Well, I don't want to keep it anywhere where we're going to be walking to melt ice. But let's try putting it up against the rock wall over the driveway over here and see if it'll help keep the weeds at bay come springtime. So this is a piece of the property that we don't use for very much. So let's try spreading it over here, see what it ends up doing. If it melts ice, I wonder if that has anything to do with it being black. So it attracts the sunlight. Normally I stop my fires with a torch. This is another easy way to start a fire. This works really well if you're outside and everything is wet. Birch bark, whether it's white or yellow birch. It's loaded with natural oils that catch on fire and burn super hot. Probably won't be able to see it in here, but it actually burns black smoke, like if you were burning a petroleum. I wonder if we can see how hot it's burning. High. So that won't even register. This thing goes up to 700 degrees. If we go to where the birch is, it won't even register. We'll go back to the edge of the wood. 681 and then boom. Look at that. That caught on fire nicely. Cleaned it out. Now we can have a nice fire again. Yay. Don't want to reach your Christmas time. Why are you What's that? I don't know where's mine. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Use it to dry off.
Gina's working on dinner. I'm working on next week. I'm working on this week's breakfast. We're gonna try a different style egg bake for this week. We're gonna line the pan with hash browns. Oh, I messed up. Yeah. I didn't crease the pan first. Oh, I <laughs> All right, let's try this. Say, so, look at this one, pale carrots. That's how you know it's real life. Because we mess up just like everybody else. Right? Not made for TV. Pluto's just chillaxing. Yeah. Sewing away. Mm -hmm. Working on your napkins. See what it looks like. Nope, not even close. Gonna add in some parsley and some sweet basil. You want some chicken Pluto? Let's see. Nope, not ready yet. All right. It's 
ready to start cooking. I gotta get the eggs ready for the breakfast bake. Season it with some pepper. Some salt. Cheese. We gotta dice up some ham. You want to go out, Pluto? Go. Come on, let's go out. I think the goats will appreciate some carrot peels. The temperature's finally starting to cool off. Now everything's freezing back up. Feels nice though being in the upper 30s. The girls want some carrots. Is that good? Oh, they are eating the celery. I was wondering there, Blossom and Buttercup and Willow. They've been doing a good job stripping the bark off the apple branches. What I think is crazy about that, goats only have bottom teeth, but yet they can girdle and rip the bark off of branches really easy. You wouldn't think it'd be that easy with only bottom teeth. You want some hay? You ate all that carrot stuff already? Boy, girls, you're crazy. Watch out. There you go. Can have some hay. Let's go restock our egg pile. You girls enjoying this weather? You can be outside again. It's nice seeing you out, moose. Oh, I can't believe how much snow we melted. Nice. Starting to see grass here and there. <laughs> Come 
Come on, Plurida, let's go. Hopefully the hash browns are cooked now. Oh, those look good. And now my eggs and ham. Now we got our homemade egg noodles that we're going to add in. These take about three minutes to cook in boiling water, so it might take five to ten minutes to cook them right now. Girls have been busy crafting up this afternoon, but we can't show them because they're Christmas presents. Mmm, I can't wait to have that for breakfast tomorrow. Oh, it does look good, don't it? Smells good. Mm -hmm. I'm all excited for breakfast now. That looks delicious. You could try it. No. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow morning. Your homemade egg noodles make it.
It's been a good day, but I am beat. We've been doing a lot of Christmas stuff lately. We can't show a lot of that on camera because you never know who's watching. Let me say a little difficult this time of the year with the holiday season. Making videos, getting stuff ready for Christmas and the holiday seasons. Makes it busy for everybody. I hope you all are having a great holiday season. Planning ahead and looking forward to the new year. And I'd love to hear what you guys are looking forward to in 2019 with your homestead, your homestead endeavors. Leave it in the comments down below. I look forward to reading them. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, the guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Do you wanna say goodnight? You saying bye?